There we go. So this drill is, is they're gonna sprint with the ball to half field, coming back with the right foot, and then they're gonna drill back with the left foot as fast as they can. So they're gonna do three rounds with the ball, and then they're gonna do three rounds without the ball. So the person's break is while this person's going. So they get a good amount of break, so they have to really push themselves while doing this. And you want what, another thing you wanna keep in mind is keeping the ball really close. So here goes Will. Good, keeping it close, pumping his arms. Excellent job. What do you think of uh, that conditioning drill and training today? Yeah. <laughs> Shit, got me tired. It was good though, right? Yeah, it felt good. Yeah, you did a great job. How many pounds have you lost? Uh, 12, I think. Dang, 12 pounds down. <laughs> what do you think, Will, of the conditioning and practice today? I was too tired. <laughs> well, you did well, man. You're going to see that 99 pace is coming back. Dang. Tomorrow's leg day. Yeah, tomorrow's leg day. <laughs> Juan, you coming there? Why? Leg day tomorrow? Maybe. Ah, uh, it's a no, it's a no. Maybe. Let's see, let's see. Osito, what do you think? Of the training? I'm cramping. Was good? Hell yeah. That's I'm good. Dead. But that's good. So so, but yeah, great stuff from all three of them. Progress every day. It's a great day to get better, as they say. Yeah, you can check my bio for that <laughs> But yeah, good stuff from these guys, and uh, I'll see you guys later. What's up, guys? I'm here with Elnis. We killed our workout, right, Elnis? Yeah. What did we do? Walk, bro. We, had, we did just a little bit of shoulders, and then we did uh, legs, and then arms after. So pretty much just a little whole body, not whole body, but somewhat whole body workout. Yeah. So you know. you, can you walk? A little bit. <laughs> so, you know, I haven't done legs in, like, years, so it's kind of... It's pretty tough, man. Yeah. I don't like the stairs right now. I hate them. <laughs> I don't even like the bathroom, too. I don't want to. Oh, my God. It was awful. Only in the bathroom. Hell no. Yeah. So, wh what are we doing right now? All right. We're studying for this big exam, midterm exam for ATEP 300, functional anatomy. Nice. So, we're just slowly building up. And then, so we can memorize most of the stuff. We're going to start in three, two, one, go. Base that's right there, medial border above. That's the uh, elevator scapulae. Coracoid process. Boom, boom. So he finished in 50 seconds. I just forgot. I didn't press this quick. But now we're gonna check the answers. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Here let's see go. if he. Let's see if he got all them all right. So upper fibers right here. Base and one third piece of skull and then one lateral one third of clavicle boom correct number one number two trap middle fibers spinous processes of seven cervical and upper three thoracic vertebrae and the medial border of chromium process and upper border of scapular spine boom easy lower traps will be the spinous process of t4 to t12 vertebrae mm -hmm. And then triangular space, so scapular spine. Excellent. And then and subclavius will be superior aspect, first rib, and inferior groove. Sean, I got this all right in 50 seconds. That's crazy. Dang, good stuff on this. So Dang. we got the dub there, and it looks like we were pretty solid on the first chapter. <laughs> and yeah, uh, yeah we, we have a several more flashcards and several different sections. Oh. But that's a good first day of studying, would you say? Yes. Oh, yeah, definitely, man. Work out and study. That's yeah, work out and study. That's the goal right now. Focus on your health and then focus on your academics. What's up, guys? So I'm here with Elmis and we're studying uh, with these uh, like flashcards that he cut out. And uh, what we're trying to do is like we'll scramble them and we'll try to like memorize the origins and assertions for all these muscle groups. And you know, when I first started, obviously I wasn't as I wasn't really fast at it. But you know, after doing it. Like, Ellis made me do it like 15 times and I'm getting better and better and I'm starting to remember and he's giving me like really good tips to remember and to like remember some of the origins and assertions because it's, sometimes they give you hints within like the description of it so it's been really helpful so he's uh, Ellis is gonna mix it up for me and then he's gonna time me so we'll see how quick I can do it and then I'll show you the updated version of how quickly Alanis can do this because I'm pretty sure he can do this very, very quick. 
All right, we're back. So Philip about to start the challenge. Yes, I already scrambled the little flashcards for him. So we're starting in three, two, one, go. Dun, 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 dun. All right, Cute Philip. music. I've been putting you through intense training for these flashcards. I want you to do well for the test. We need dubs, bro. Dubs only. Dubs only. That's our motto for the whole semester. <laughs> All right. So far, so good, player. And time. All right, Phil. How do you feel? Um, oh man, that <laughs> rhyming game. All right. So um, how do you feel about this one? I feel pretty good. I mean, I feel a lot more confident than I did before, and it's because I repeated this several times, and Elnis has been helping me, and I think it helps him as well because he checks my work. So I think overall, I did a lot better. I might have got one or two wrong, but we'll see once the Elnis checks hey, it for it's me. It's all about a hey, mistakes is learning. That's what it is. Yeah, I mean, at least we're taking the time to come mm -hmm. out here late at night after yes, a good workout. To study and you know this is this is our spring break you know mm -hmm. a lot of people are in cancun dominican republic down in florida partying and you know what we're doing is studying late at night yes sir so right now this is actually his best time he's been out two minutes so now it's a minute and 30. see how this is how this is such a good improvement right here and let's see how he does okay so elness right now he's going to check my work so hopefully, let's see if I didn't get too many wrong. All right. So I'll start off with the first row. First row, trap, lower traps. This is right, uh, peg one. minor, surfaces, right, rhomboids, major and minor, spine is C7, 1 to 5, below the spine, medial border, below the spine, boom, right. Subclavius, this is right as well, middle trap, boom, that's right. Upper traps, base of the skull, lateral one third of the clavicle, right, levator, boom, 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 moment of truth, right, oh, oh, you got all of them right, Phil. Yo, oh my gosh, that's the only one, bro. Yo, she said, do you love me? I tell her only oh partly. God. I only love yo, my bed and yo, my mom. I'm sorry. Dubs. Dubs. Yeah. I even got it tatted on me. We're taking dubs. Oh, oh my god. Dude, I'm just gonna do his right now. Oh my gosh. I can't believe Dude, it. Yo, you know, I, I would like to thank my family. Yo, you know, I my family. I can't believe it. Yo, you know, I would like to thank my family. God. Let me see this one. But yeah. I got more pressure on my shit now. No, dude. You've been checking my work, so. Yeah. All right. Uh, here, I'll press it. All right. You switch seats. Yeah. Hold up. I set this up. Okay. So now Elness is going to do it, and we're going to see if he could beat his record 52 seconds. It's really hard to beat on. <laughs> I, I could barely hit, like, one, one minute and 30 seconds. So let's see if he could do it. So we're going to start in three, two, one, go. And the time is off. Can Elness beat his record? Find out next time. Oh my goodness. Sorry, set him up. Set him up. Line him up. 17 seconds in. Can Elness do it? 40 seconds. 42. 43. Done. At 43 seconds. 43, 43. Yeah. Let me check myself. I know I got this rhomboid spinals below. That's right. Anterior surface, 35. That's right. That's right. Middle fibers, C7, and upper three thoracic. Yep. This right, medial chromium. Yep. Levator, upper C4. Yep. Medial border above. Yep. Base. Serratus anterior. Anterior. Yep. Find this lower for the twelve. Damn, yo, forty-five seconds. Dug over. Yo, oh my God. Yo, what do you have to tell the young kids out there? All right, so as long as you hard work, persevere, a lot of memorization. I mean, 
and keep eating healthy and work out. Back. That's how you do it, bro. But yeah, dang. Elmas just broke his world record right here. And um, eat your if, veggies. Yeah, kids, eat, come on, eat your veggies. Eat your veggies. But yeah, it says 45, but he actually had 43. I, you know, because I have to film and hold his big camera. So, yep. good job on this. You know, that's the world record right now. Yes, sir. And uh, yeah, we're going to keep on working at this. And next time, we're going to work on these next chapters. You see these? Set All up. these. Set these are going to be for the next study session. So, I'll keep you updated. And uh, if we keep this up, we're going to get dubs on this exam for both the palpation and the written. But yeah, by Friday, by Friday, all of these can be memorized. Yeah, this whole so we're table all, is filled. Yeah, it's good. we're gonna fill up the whole table, and we're gonna have like new like new challenges and stuff, and we're gonna have more people. Hopefully, we'll have the whole kind squad out here, and uh, yeah, we're only gonna take dubs, right? Yes, sir. Dubs only. But yeah, yes, thanks for the semester. Thank you, Anders, for coming out today, working out, yes, good sir. stuff, and for the studying session and helping me. Hope I'm gonna review this myself a couple hundred more times so I get it engraved in my head. Because I know like you can't just do it for one day. You're gonna have to repeat it several times and that's how you're just gonna get good at it and how you're gonna memorize it and how it's gonna really stick stick to you. Because if you know the muscle and the origins, then dang. You'll you'll know everything, right? Yes sir. That that'll help you during the palpation. I hope you during the like the written exam part. Even in real life, you know, because you ever if you ever wonder how your body works, you're just like, man, I'm curious. Why is this body doing this? Why my muscle doing this? Why is you know? It's like it's good to know like some of your what what your body does, because you know you, you can't take your body for granted. For you sure. Know? That's how you because learning your body, how to cure it, everything is good for you for longer. For longer life, pretty much, you know. Yeah, longevity. Longevity. That's what we're aiming for, pretty much. And yeah, this is important, if you, especially if you want to go into PT. Like knowing the muscle origins, where they originate, and like the insertions, like that will help you in the long run. Because mm -hmm. as a PT, you gotta know everything. Because how are you gonna help somebody like they pulled something or mm -hmm. you know they tore a muscle? You gotta know where it originates, the insertion of the muscle, and. You know, this is just a beginning, but you're going to see us grinding for the next couple of years. Yes, sir. But we're going to take only dubs, right? Yes, sir. Dubs only. But yeah, thanks, Elmas. And uh, I'll leave his Instagram. It'll be on the page and in the link below. So go give him a follow. BBB. BBB. Never lost. <laughs> All right. See you guys. Understand it, I'm a fucking bandit Throw your hands up